Hey everyone, welcome back to Outward. And I've just kind of come through this doorway here into uh, this other section of Conflux Mountain. And doing a bit of exploring to find out how to get magic out of this mountain. Dark is all hell down here, and yeah, of course I'm thirsty. Hopefully this, uh, ooh, nice. porridge. I don't have that recipe. Firestone, and yeah, I'll take it. I'm just wondering if I have anything else to drink. I don't really want to turn back now. You know what I mean? Like, I've come so far. And... Looks like there's a person here. I'm hoping it's not an enemy, but... So far in this game, it's only been enemies, so I'm reluctant to say it'll be anything other than that. I'm optimistic. Talk to Fifth Watch. Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line. Sweet. The place where the very world itself will pour its power into you if you make room for it. I don't have room in my inventory for the, that type of power. Uh, to open yourself to mana is to open yourself to the flow of our world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Uh, master magic and you will and you master the flow that echoes through us all. If you are prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep, we welcome you. May the power of mana lead you on the road to success. Okay, so um, how do I? But how do I do it? Okay, like how do I activate this? And in a timely manner because I'm thirsty. Take it going up here. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm happy to see some friendly faces anyway. People who are willing to talk to me instead of beat me down with like sharp implements. <laughs> Here's the, here we go. I bet you this person knows. You know the score, don't you, first watcher? So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. What? You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line. And in return, what you gave up will be given back to you as mana. What? Be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up, because you can never get it back. Oh no! The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the spark. It may seem small and weak, but when you combine with other spells and components, it can produce powerful effects. Ah, uh, 
you know what, I, 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 I honestly thought I was gaining something here, and now I'm not so sure. Bastards. Uh, for each point, your max health is reduced by five, and your max stamina is reduced by five. Holy shit. Shit. That's crazy. Uh, mana channeling. I, I honestly I don't know. I don't I don't know how much. Uh, it seems like a lot of sacrifice. So for forty mana, I'm giving up. Um, I don't know. I don't know how what much each mana is. Shit. Should I go? I I think I'm gonna go with sixty. It seems like a reasonable amount. It takes me down to 110 health and 85 stamina. But, um... I don't know. I don't know what spells cost. You know what I mean? It's like my sword and my shield are always going to be important too. I was more or less thinking mana would be more like a supplement thing. So I guess it's really about what type of character you want. Um, if you wanted, like, a spellcaster character with, like, a lot of spell ability, then you can get a max of 10, which would give you 200 mana, but you're on, like, 75 hit points and 50 stamina. Uh, stamina. Which basically means you're going to be heavily reliant on your spells and staying away from your enemies. I don't think I really want that type of character. I, I want um, more of a balance right now. On, a, on account of it's my first playthrough and I'm not sure what's what. Okay, so I'm going to take 60. And we got it. Good. Listen to me. Okay, now that mana flows through your veins, I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. Uh, fire Sigil or Reveal Souls. I don't know what that means. Uh, fire Sigil, I take it that I'm going to be casting fire at somebody. Reveal Souls, I'm not sure how we're going to use that. Suspicious to me. I kind of want that, just because I don't know what it is. Fire Sigil, I'm sure we're going to be able to start, like, fires without carrying around, you know, a flint. But Reveal Souls, I'm not really sure what it is. So I think I'm going to take the Reveal Souls because I, I don't think we can solve that with a flint. You know what I mean? So let's, let's do it. Welcome, Mage. May your talent for magic never underestimate the humble spark spell. If you wish to learn the most complex of spells, Seek out rune magic. Uh, only by properly combining them will you unlock their power. They are spells that require experimentation, but are flexible once you understand them. Welcome, you. mage. Train. May your talent for magic only grow stronger. You need to hold a lantern or torch, and you'll be ready to use it. What? Oh, flamethrower spell for 50 silver. Okay. Um, I don't have 50 silver on me. As I never have any, uh, like, any cash. Okay, so there's a path down there. And this goes back down this way. Okay, so now I have... I want to check out what this spell actually does. Does. 
Reveal soul. Reveal the bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Certain spells must be proximity to a soul. Certain spells must be cast in proximity to a soul. Fuck, I feel like I just got ripped off there. Um... I don't know. I don't know what uh, I'm going to make of that. I have this other Possessed, uh, which grants me a boon, uh, which increases or decreases increases your decay damage and decay resistance. It doesn't tell, tell me how much they cost in terms of mana. Okay, was this like a shortcut? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really not sure how to use the reveal soul spell yet, so we're gonna we're gonna wait until we get a corpse of uh, a bandit or something, and and then we can we can cast that and see what what it does exactly if it's gonna help me with anything. Um. Maybe it'll conjure like a ghost or something, and we can talk to that person, ask them some questions. There are quite a few dead adventurers just like walking around, so. I mean, that, that took us like a solid hour and 20 minutes, I would say. To, to get in there and figure it out and all that other stuff. What in the fuck? Where 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 in the world did it possibly take me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did it take me way over here? I don't even know where I am. I have to be, like, out here somewhere. Right? Where is the mountain? Like, is that it? It's just, like, graphically not showing up or something? And what is this place? Oh, that must be my hometown, because I think that's my boat that's smashed up on the rocks. So, it must be out here. I have no idea. I, I genuinely have no idea. Unless I'm here, or here. Hard to say. I definitely need to get some water, though, into me. I'm going to get to these trees. No, that's definitely not my hometown. I mean, look at the buildings. I hope they're friendly, whoever they are. So we're going to build a campfire, and we're going to boil some water. Okay. Okay, so we've got some clean water now. I'm going to take some drinks. Oh, we have a we have like a little scroll here for 
Score food. Always popular. And water jug go. It's always easier to do it this way. some food into me and I don't know because do you, do you think this is a fe like friendly population or like I'd rather not get killed right now you know what I mean like who's this guy walking up on he looks very prepared to kill ah, I just don't want to <laughs> I have to run away like you basically have to uh, assume everybody's out to kill you. Okay, so there's the mountain. At least we see that. I'm heading north to it, which means I'm down in the south side of everything. But it really doesn't make any sense. I, I left the mountain and they just kind of like plop me down. Hollowed trunk. Hastily built from broken planks, it grants the ability to block arrows, at least. Oh, a plank shield. Oh, right. I don't need any of that. Alright, so this is this is the plan. Now that I've got this magic power, uh, I'm heading back to uh, my hometown, basically. Uh, I'm heading there to sell off some things, uh, probably get some training, uh, and increase you know the value of my character, and then uh, I want to say that I'll, I'll probably. probably hand in some of these mana stones that I have uh, picked up and it looks like some of my food went bad yeah damn it I've never had the food go bad before so Say I kind of sort of know where I am at this point. Just because I know this mountain and if I if I go uh, north north west from this mountain, I'll end up back at the base, or back at my hometown. A west road from Hardly 
hard to say if I'm on the right road. I'm heading southwest. I don't think I'm on the right road. I think I think uh, I'm on this road, heading this way, which is not the way I want to go. I'm slowing down here. I don't know if that's because I'm sick or. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a fire and we'll warm up. Because I think maybe I'm just cold. Quite a few weird things, weird items that I've picked up, like uh, the mana stone I, I kind of know what I'm doing, small sapphire, hopefully it'll fetch a good price, I hope so. Uh, firefly powder, crushed marsh insects that emit a luminous haze used in some alchemical recipes, okay. Fair enough. I am gonna head on. Yeah, so I was just getting really cold and that was slowing me down quite a bit. Is my lantern still burning? Fuck. Burning all this oil for no reason. I'm gonna have to refill that somehow too. I know that I can refill it with my alchemy station if I have thick oil. So I might try that next time we stop. Next time we stop to warm up. So here we have our adventurer's corpse, and I would like to cast the spell, reveal soul, I have no idea how to do that, so, uh, There's another one. Oh, okay. 
So it uh, essentially it. Um, take the bread. I don't. I don't know if I need this simple bow or not. It marked. It marked it so that I could go and find it. Uh, that's not really all that useful to me. Um, I mean, obviously it, it helped me there, but because there's a person who's dead, but does that resource refill over time, or do I have to do something to refill it? Mana, 55 of 60, so it cost me 5 points. I might have traded too much for my mana. And let me see. Sparks. Tiny fire explosion that deals negligible damage, but can be used in combination with other spells for greater effects. This spell can light campfires. Oh, okay. So, f uh, fire sigil, I thought, was probably going to uh, be how I light my campfires too, but really not a big deal because I have other things. So I, I don't even know if this will be... Um, I don't think that's such a big deal. Assigned a quick slot. Uh, let's do it here, I guess. Because I, I don't use this because I don't use a sword at this time, so... Call me crazy here, but is my mana not... It's not refilling on its own, so I'll have to make spells, basically, to refill it. And that costs five as well, so... Ooh, Iron Sword. Now, hold on just a second, because I haven't had an Iron Sword. Damage is 17. I wonder if it's going to have better reach than my Iron Mace. got this rusty sword which is tw uh, 20 damage uh, the commander said to me this sword fit for a king the commander said to make this sword fit for a king okay a little bit of that dialogues getting lost as well just at the corner of my my screen so Definitely overweight, again. All kinds of things I don't want to throw away, but... It's, it comes down to all these swords and stuff that I don't need. <clears throat> uh... Is that a backup mace, or...? <laughs> Ow! I thought I had my shield out. Tiniest bit of damage on it. Yeah, I definitely need to drop some stuff. Okay, I'll drop this sword uh, just because I have that rusty sword. 
And I'm not really sure what to do with that sword yet. But obviously it was at the top of a mountain. It has to be worth something, right? Ah, I'm still overweight. Hmm. of my mana? Oh, it did. does. Okay, so turnips. We need to make some turnip recipes. A little better. I guess we'll drop this. We're not really using it. Uh, explosives? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to combine these things, but I, I don't have a recipe to do it yet, and I don't really know what I'm doing. must have been stuff I picked up while I had my backpack on the ground and I just forgot about it. Alright, away we go. Alright, I've got to have taken a wrong turn again. Damn it! Surprising how, how easy it is to get lost. I'm terrible at finding my way to begin with. But... I think we wanted to head this way. This is east. Christ, where am I? I want to go up this way. But... Where was I headed there? It was, uh, northeast. I think it was heading this way. Along this road. So if I follow this road back, and then to the west. It should be this way. I don't know where I got turned around there, but... I was at this caravan, I went out of my way. Oh, I'm freezing cold again. Uh, 
All right, and yeah, basically most of this stuff is going to be for sale when I get back. Um. I never really took a look at this. Damage is six and six. I don't really think it's that necessary. I mean, it looked cool at the time, but I doubt I'll even use it. Probably could just toss it, make room for some other things. So I, I'm back in some familiar territory here. Yeah, we could definitely use like a horse or something in this because travel around the map is brutally long. Like, there's always the threat of violence, but like, I, I can handle most things in this area right now, and just having to like physically walk through it is pretty, pretty rough. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, I'm home now. I'm going to sell off my stuff and take a nap. And we'll pick it up here next time. Thanks for watching.